Hello, welcome to Raglan Shire, a very cute sim here in Second Life. Raglan Shire is home to a population of cute little furry animals called Tinies. Please join me on this adventure as I explore this sim. I'm here in Raglan Shire to celebrate the medieval festival. Let me check out what the marketplace here has to offer. In the marketplace, there are various tiny friendly activities. Right now, there is a tiny dance going on, and alongside the tiny dance is a fabled old tiny tradition. The stockading of tinies who do not give other tinies their waffles. For those of you who do not know, tinies like to eat waffles. If you don't give tinies their waffles, they're not going to be very happy with you, let's just say. There are various tiny related artisan craft stores, such as artwork you can place on walls or murals. Also, tiny related avatar accessories, such as body parts and or costumes. There is also a tiny carousel for those tinies who really literally want to take a spin. It is nighttime and Raglan Shire has quieted down. Some friends of mine have decided to invite me over to stay over at their house tonight. So I'm going to go inside their house and take a look to see what their cute little house has to offer. House has a very cute tiny little table with cinnamon rolls on top of it. A cute little fireplace. A cat on the windowsill. My parakeet friend and my warthog friend are sitting on their couches and chairs respectively. My parrot friend loves to, uh, or I should say parakeet friend loves to be on his rocking chair. There's also a cute little work table here with a typewriter and a small candle. Another fireplace. And as I walk right through the house, the most adorable thing I've ever seen. A cute little tiny bed. And also a cute little tiny bathtub. After waking up the next morning, we have decided to check out our friend's sim a little bit more. The structure that stands in front of us is the Harmony Hall. The Harmony Hall is a well-known Chinese meeting spot that is away from Raglan Shire. Harmony Hall holds banquets and other special events like dances once a month. Its front is lined with these tree-created arches, providing very nice shade, especially on very hot days. Let's go inside Harmony Hall to see what it has to offer. Once inside Harmony Hall, anyone will notice that Harmony Hall is designed to look like any palace in Europe. The decorations on the floor, the wall, and the ceilings are really high class and give you a very royal feeling about this place. Also, one will also notice the piano, the couple's dance ball, and a single dance ball on a roof. Also, the tables here come with cakes that are lined on top of them, just for people who would like to sit down and chat and enjoy some pastries while on the go. In the back of the hall stands the garden and fountain structures. This garden and fountain structure will surely remind anyone of any famous palace in Europe. After saying goodbye to our friend's home, we have decided to come back to Raglan Shire and visit the castle. Once one has entered the courtyard, one will notice that there is a stage here in the courtyard. Some plays and some dance events will be held here in the stage. Let us continue into the castle main itself. Once inside the castle main, people will notice a small pub. This is where tinies can hang out and enjoy a drink. As one follows the trail further down into the castle, one will also notice two thrones. This is where any tiny can pretend to be king or queen of the tiny kingdom. One of the favorite pastimes of the Raglan Shire Sims is a game called Prim Charades. In Prim Charades, participants create things on stage out of prims and have other participants guess what the object is. For those of you who do not know what a prim is, prims are the basic building elements of anything on Second Life. 
We are now here at the Raglanshire Archery Tournament. As you can see in front of us, there are these targets that these tinies have to fire their arrows at. And that scoreboard over there marks the scores of each tiny and tells everyone how much that tiny has advanced. As we look around here, we also see the trophy stands. These trophy stands contain three trophies. The top trophy is a bow-shaped trophy, and the second and third place winners receive the trophies to the right and the left of it. Here are the winners of the archery tournament. As you can see, they're all really excited to have won their prizes. And so was the audience here. I am now at the Raglanshire Jousting event. No medieval festival is complete without jousting. And as you can see, these little tinies are trying their best to have an impact with each other on their horses. Let's see what happens. It's a very interesting event. I've never seen jousting on Second Life myself before, but let's see how this goes. Hopefully they're ready soon, and they're off. Oh, and they've had some impact. I guess the winner is going to get some trophy at the end. Whoops, they're going to be going at it soon again. Let's see what happens now. And they're about to start again. Whoa. And somebody's armor just broke off. Very interesting event. As my journey here in Raglanshire comes to an end, I realize how much I've learned about the Tinies during the making of this video. The Tinies are a unique group, or I should say culture here on Second Life, and make up the third largest population of avatar forms in Second Life. While visiting the Tinies, I've learned to appreciate them more and learn to appreciate other populations of creature forms on Second Life too. Learning to appreciate each other on Second Life can help build bridges between people in the virtual reality and also help build bridges between people around the world in the real world, helping people to come together and solve problems. I hope you enjoyed exploring this sim with me. Before we go, these tinies have a special treat for you. This is so cute. Good job everyone, that was so cute.